freaking me out. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy. And I'm Eduardo. And this is a little segment we like to call Spit. Or Swallow. So we went to BevMo, picked six Chardonnays out of... Uh, 17,000. 800,000. A whole lot of Chardonnays. A lot. Great we spot. tasted the bad wines, so you don't have to. But it's good. You're done. It's good. These are the three that we've chosen to be the best out of our flight of six. So the first line is number... 22. Number 22. I have two words written. Okay, insipid. Insipid? Insipid. You think this wine's insipid? What do you mean by insipid? I mean it lacks character. It lacks depth. It lacks anything. It's very watery to me. Next. I thought it was very good. You got like the characteristic Chardonnay, uh, the pineapple, a little bit of pear, uh, just a, a hint, a kiss of um, a toasty oak. Really well balanced, easy drinking. I like it. Ooh, are you done? That yeah. was really boring. Reveal. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> and what do I like the Cordoba? The only way to really know what you think about a wine is by not wine really is. And well done. This is a Sonoma Reserve Russian River Valley Chardonnay. It's uh, 2006 Claude de Bois. Claude de Bois, who'd have thunk? Um, this is one of those wines that uh, I guess uh, you find in lots of supermarkets around the nation. and. You can pick it up when you pick up your broccoli, which is a perfect pairing for this wine. All right, that's just being mean. You're just being mean. This is a well-made wine. Hey, what's the retail price on this? $11.99. $12 for an easy drinker, no-brainer. You're going to love it. Don't listen to her. She doesn't have any idea what she's talking about. My vote for the Sonoma County Reserve Chardonnay is 82. And mine is 90, 90 points. It's good. It's good. Now, number 23 happened to be my favorite of the bunch. Please, let me pour for you, Eduardo. <laughs> I think this wine is very light, lean, and elegant. It has a very nice oak integration. It's just soft and pretty, but it has some really good acidity to it, brightness. Eduardo, this for me is a swallow. This wine doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't. This is, this is a wine that, it doesn't. It's this is a wine elegance. that's really light it, and, and, and dilute, and it tastes like it's watered I, down. I gave it 88 points. 88 points. I also gave it 88 points. But I gave it a spit. And, and I gave it a swallow. I guess my standards are as high as yours, <laughs> Please, Amy, would you mind revealing the wine? I'll do it. I'll do it. Clodobois! <laughs> 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 oh my god, this could not be more beautiful. Another Clodobois Chardonnay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this is the 2007 Clodobois Chardonnay North Coast. All you bargain hunters will love me for this wine because it's a mere $8.49. Eduardo is trying to put you in the poorhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's let's put our differences aside. Honestly, this is a fantastic buy. I myself am Jeez. very, very, very guilty of looking at a label and saying that's probably crap. But you know what? Claude de Bois. All of a sudden, uh, I I actually might pick up a bottle of this if I'm on the way to watch uh, a football game. I have some nachos and uh, hot dogs waiting for me at my buddy's house, and we want to drink Chardonnay. This is perfect for it. Mm. She's swallowing it. It's delicious. Now this wine is a perfect example of a mass-produced Chardonnay with a little bit of residual sugar, some oak chips, and in my notes, it's perfectly drinkable for my husband's parents. <laughs> You're cruel, is what no, you are. I'm not. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because in my notes, I say nada, nothing. This wine, for me, nothing. My husband's parents enjoy an oak-chipped wine with residual sugar. 
it's just the way it is. Now look, look, what I'm saying is that this is a market for somebody, and I think, like, you know, it's sort of the, the Kendall Jackson-y kind of wine. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to simultaneously spit and swallow this wine. I'm going to um, I'm going to <laughs> emphatically spit it out because it's not good. It's not. It's not good. I'm going to swallow it. It's not good. The wine's not good. And then regurgitate it. <laughs> um, Amy, I gave it uh, a 72 point. Oh, you don't want to know what I gave this wine. I was rating it as if I were my husband's parent. That's fine. What did you I give it? I rated it an 85. 85, that's fine. And well, they're, they're let's, let's find out what it is. Amy, you're stronger than this. Star Maryvale. <laughs> now this one's a shocker. Wow. Because I bet this is not. I bet that's not cheap. French oak barrel fermentation, aged on the leaves, which means it's um, it's left in contact with all the the dead yeast cells. They they fall to the bottom of the uh, barrel. It usually adds rich richness and texture. And in this case, it's adding some maybe saccharine quality. At $13.99, to my palate, falls far below what I think a $14 Chardonnay should taste like. So, uh, my favorite was the second most expensive. Your favorite was the... The, the cheapo! The cheapo. We had three wines, the three top of the flights, all right? The, the three wines are all under $15. The most expensive wine was the one we liked the least. This that's, is true. That's great. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't always judge a book by its cover because, hey, maybe you'll enjoy something that you thought you never would.